right, welcome back guys. Tonight, for this video, we're going to be unboxing the Power Rangers In Space Silver Ranger. Now mind you, this isn't the Walgreens special. I wasn't lucky enough to find one of those. But, this is the new version that they have with the Silver Cycle. We're going to get this one open. Like I said, as far as the box, I don't hate the boxes as bad as I make out that I do. They're okay. Are they my favorite? Not really. But I do like them. Uh, like I said, as you can see the artwork here on the side, I prefer the old school stuff that they had. But uh, like I said, it's kind of cool. They have the, the layout here that's got the dimensions of the actual figure and the bike. It's kind of nice. It's not the greatest, but uh, like I said, can't complain. I mean, it, when, if you weren't lucky enough to get the Walgreens version or order it when it was online, it is nice to get a different version to, like, if you're like me, I have the whole team, but I lacked this one. So, it's nice to get that to complete the whole team. So, uh, like I said, boxes pretty plain pretty simple I mean there's not a lot to it so let's get into cracking this baby open let's bust the tape here like I said this one was a replacement for my blue centurion from Hasbro so I was very happy with this let's see if we can get this open without destroying the box paperwork and then as I said with the new the new setup that Hasbro has with the plasticless I know they're gonna be changing that I think it was next year they're going back to window boxes so we have that and these are actually strapped in which is an upgrade in my book so let's get these guys untied basically unroll these like I said I understand the initiative you know, let's save the planet but uh, when you have no packaging and uh, which like I said these little holders are an upgrade to some of the others I've seen uh, when they come in boxes like this and the figures broken so basically, they have to send another one. That's another figure that they're having to produce, which is more plastic. They're using more cardboard and stuff. Yeah, doesn't really balance out in my book. But what do I know? I'm just a collector. All right, let's see. Let's cut these open. We'll set this to the side for just a moment to really figure out. Oh, okay, so first off, we have the front to the box, which is nice. Uh, it's very clean. Uh, I like the fact that they put the, the sticker for the controls on it. That's really nice. Uh, we've got the translucent, like the glass pieces on the side. It's clean. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Uh, we have the Zane head. And then let's see, we have our figure. We'll start with that before we get out the rest of the accessories. Uh, it's really nice. It's got a it's got a lot of a metallic feel to it, even though I'm sure it's probably not supposed to have that that much. But uh, like I said, it's really clean. The golds are bright. Got a lot of this whole figure's got a lot of reflection to it. The boots, however, when I'm looking at this, the hands are are nice, clean, and white. The boots, the feet are actually pretty white, 
but the actual top part of the boots are kind of yellowed. Maybe it's just me, but they do. They have a... thought they've been left out in the sun. But, uh, I figured I'd have to wait 20 years to see that. But anyways, uh, the helmet. Really nice. Paint lines are clean. I really do like that because a lot of these in-space figures, they mess up the helmets on the paint. But overall, figure looks clean. It's nice. I said I'm glad to actually complete this team because I love in space. Uh, let's see. Uh, like I said, I didn't really go over the head. Uh, I don't. I guess my biggest thing that I don't want to give too much of a review on these is I don't have the original, the Walgreens version to go to. As far as that goes, I think it's a good sculpt. Uh, colors are good. I mean, looks nice. Now, compared to the other one, I'm not really sure. I don't have a side-by-side -side on those. And, okay, let's see. I thought I had everything up. Let's see. Got a few pieces I've not got. And, okay, that's it for that bag. And what do we have? We have the Super Silverizer. We have it in blade and blaster mode, which is kind of, kind of nice. Uh, just looking here. Hmm. Yeah. Seems kind of strange here. Just look, actually looked at the box for it. It's actually got a hole in the front of the blaster there, like it's supposed to have an effect piece, but according to the box, it doesn't come with one. So... Uh, I guess we may have to, you know, borrow one from another figure. But no large deal. That's not a deal breaker. Blade mode. Uh, said it's nice. I mean, I've uh, got the translucent blade. And uh, everything's straight. Uh, I've seen a lot of people getting figures as of late. Uh, just like the new, uh, ah, man, like the Dino Thunder, the... Uh, black Tommy Dino Thunder that his brachio staff is bent out of the box uh, I did see one the other day where someone I can't remember what the figure was but uh, it was a lightning collection figure one of the newer ones and the box was empty so uh, yeah not going to complain my figure is in the box uh, we have the extra set of hands uh, so you can see the figures got the open hands we've got a Basically a chop hand, I guess you'd say. And a fist on these ones. Uh, and we have the handlebars for the bike. I kind of assume that the bike would be put together as big a box as you've got it coming out of. And these were much easier to get out of the box than the blue centurion. I feel like I struggled with those majorly. Now, for me, I can already tell something that I, I won't say I dislike, but I think could have been much better with the bike. As you can see, with the Silver Ranger, we got that silver paint, and it looks really good on him, on the actual figure itself. But with the cycle, we basically got that bare silver plastic that has like the... I'm not sure what that's called, but you can actually see the the marks in the plastic. It looks marbled. I guess is the only way I know how to put it. And and I honestly, it would have looked like a much nicer bike if it had been painted a solid color. Uh, not necessarily the same color as him, because I think the metallic would have been a bit much. But if we went with the silver that was on the silverizer. 
did that on the bike. I believe it looked a lot cleaner. But, uh, like I said, I'm glad to have another bike. I like bike figures. I wish they would actually do a few more of those. Uh, let's see. They didn't get any instructions, so I'm going to try and figure out how to install this uh, from the looks of it. The... Handlebars. Maybe I need to pop this on first. Front end just pops on, and snaps right on the front. Oop. Bump the camera there. Uh, yeah, just pops on. Nothing serious with that. It's got pretty good range of motion. Not a whole lot. Uh, like I said, got the kickstand down here. Pretty good free rolling wheels, especially the back. The back's a lot. Got a lot more than the front. And let's see, I gotta figure out the handlebars on this. Uh, I know how it goes on, but it doesn't seem like it goes on great. In theory, it should just push down on there, but it's not wanting to do real well at that. That's one I may have to use a little bit of soap to get it to pop on. Yeah, I believe I will. But for all informative matters jeez so that's going to be another thing i'm not quite sure why they didn't just leave the handlebars on this uh, or ship them out with it installed because that's ridiculous in all honesty uh, that's one i'll have to work on to get it on like i said the front end's not too bad uh, i'll figure out how to get that on but as far as that goes I'm impressed with it. I like it. I've got uh, myself. I have several, several bikes. I have a whole table full of bikes that I've collected and uh, don't have all the figures. But uh, for this one, this is one I can definitely say if you can pick it up on clearance or as far as a $30 price tag, yeah, I would say it's worth it. Uh, for me, I would honestly, the bike, I would like to actually repaint it. I think it would look so much better with a, a brighter silver on it. And that may happen at some point if I get a chance. But uh, overall, it's a great figure. Uh, I'm not real big on the box. I guess that would be one of my cons. And the only other thing that I really have, like I said, I'm not nitpicking on the actual plastic of the bike. I can live with that. This, this is ridiculous. Uh, like I said, I'll get it on. I know I will, but, you know, when you open a figure and it has pieces to put together, you want to be able to put that together within just a few minutes, fairly simply, fairly easy. This could have used a slot in it to where it basically just slid up on the peg. You slide it on, and that's it. But it's a little more complicated than that. Overall... Would I recommend it? Definitely. Like I said, the chances of us finding this figure, the original Walgreens in store, slim to none. I'm beginning to wonder if they actually exist out in the wild. But this is a much better option. Uh, like I said, I don't have the other one to compare to, so I can't tell you if this figure matches better is a, or is a better figure. But I will say for what I have here, it's a great figure and I would recommend it. Uh, appreciate you tuning in guys like I said we've got some more figures I've got some more stuff to unbox uh, subscribe to the channel let me know what you think comment like this video and like I said we'll have some more stuff before long uh, appreciate it guys alright guys so I did manage to get the handlebars on 
Uh, this is going to be an update to what I already had videoed. I did manage to get that. But one thing I did want to share with you that I did notice on this figure versus all of the other Lightning Collection figures that I have, the joints on this one are super loose. I'm talking like the arms are all right. They're not terrible. Little the legs are really bad. And the reason I mentioned this, the reason I came back to actually put this on the end of the video is normally when I do these reviews, I film the video, do the review, and then afterwards I'll do some shots of the figures trying to get them, you know, do different poses, stuff like this, just stuff to add to it and I had a time with this one last night because the legs are so loose, it is hard to get it to stand up at all. Now, this is the first one of these figures that I have had a problem with, uh, but I just wanted to add that in. It's not terrible. I think, actually, I can probably stiffen these up. I know of a trick on these I may try to try and sit, but they are very loose. Most of the time, I have trouble bending the knees and adjusting these joints here they're usually pretty tight in the hip but this one's it's probably the worst one i've had and like i said on the bike uh, i did get it did get the handlebars put on later last night uh you just got to get mean with it that's the only way i know to put it that one was super stiff to get on it took a little bit of manhandling to get it on but it did come together it's nice uh, it fits really good. I was wondering if the handlebars would actually work with the wheel correctly. They do. Not a lot of range of motion, but it does, does go on and looks pretty nice.